Hi everybody, Sean Woodland inside the Update Studios as we get set for the 2016 Reebok CrossFit Games Open. New feature this year for law enforcement, firefighters, and military personnel. You're going to be able to compare yourself to your peers on the leaderboard. And to help us talk about that, we welcome in Corporal Larry Moss, the Assistant SWAT Commander for the Lake Charles Police Department and a member of our games media team. You might recognize Larry when he's on the floor with the microphone calling out the action as one of our floor announcers. Larry, thanks so much for being here, man. We appreciate it. Thank you for asking me, Sean. I'm so stoked to be here with you guys. A lot of law enforcement officers use CrossFit on their own to train. You guys actually use it in your department. How do you use it to get yourselves ready for what goes on on the street? Well, our, our biggest usage of CrossFit and where it really comes to bear for us is for our SWAT guys. Uh, it's been our, our choice of, of fitness for several years now. We wanted to get away from the, the standard O course, static run type stuff and something a little bit more real world, a little bit more beneficial to our guys. Uh, Santa Monica PD put out a video along with CrossFit HQ, uh, Dave Castro, uh, and Greg Amundsen, as well as uh, Andy Rios from Simi Valley CrossFit uh, about utilizing Murph, uh, the Hero Workout Murph is their SWAT qualifier. And we pretty much stole the idea about three years ago. We've been using it ever since. You're going to be able to compare yourselves now to other law enforcement officers in the country and around the world. What does it mean now to have that feature on the leaderboard? Well, it, it's fantastic, Sean, because I know, at least I speak for myself and the guys that we talk to, you, you know there's other law enforcement officers out there, uh, but you, you don't really, you may not know who they are, and you don't really know who in your age bracket or who in your particular line of work, how you're going to stack up against them unless you know them personally. Uh, and this new feature in the open gives us an op option to, to, to check out our counterparts worldwide and see how, you know, I, I myself as a police officer stack up against some guy, you know, halfway across the world. I know you guys are a competitive lot. I know you're going to be huh. looking at the leaderboard. Who are you going to be putting on the leaderboard as far as law enforcement officers are concerned? Well, uh, other than kind of the obvious guys that are games competitors, you know, John Para, you know, uh, <laughs> Albert Dominic LaRouche, you know, the big studs. Uh, we, we have a guy here at our, our uh, department, Mitch Sawyer, uh, who's a regional competitor. He's been an individual and a team competitor. Um, and he's, he's just an absolute monster. And, and I work out with him on a daily basis. And so I really kind of know how I stack up against him. But it, it's still fun to, to be able to look at that and how he stacks up against everybody else mm -hmm. as well. You recently had a woman by the name of Stephanie Tatum qualify for your SWAT team. First woman to ever do that at your police department. What kind of role did CrossFit play in that? Uh, well, at the time when Stephanie came on board as a new police officer, which was about three or four years ago, uh, part of their initial training was a segment on fitness, and we exposed them to CrossFit at that point as an option, just kind of, you know, not trying to force on anybody, just give them their, their, their you know, benefit of, of being able to see different you know, aspects of it. Uh, and part of that was they did a baseline at a box, uh, did a couple of workouts, and she was hooked from the word go. Uh, so she really kind of had a leg up on a lot of the competition that she had done the qualifier. She had done Murph several times just as a workout on Memorial Day or whatever it came up in the workout of the day. There's a lot of trash talking that goes on even without CrossFit on a daily basis in police departments. I I'm sure yours is no different. What is this now going to do to the trash talking that goes on at your department? Well, there, there's a lot, uh, a whole lot. And that, that is part of the is part of the fun of the business, I guess. And it's it's part of, of being in law enforcement. I'm sure it's the same. It's definitely the same in the military. I've been there as well. And I'm sure it's the same for firefighters. Uh, but we have some fringe guys that are that CrossFit with us. They come in, they work out with us on a daily basis, uh, but they they haven't they haven't partaken of the open. Uh, they like to come in and do the workout, you know, maybe not have a judge with them, uh, that kind of deal. Uh and talk a little trash. But now that this has opened up, this is gonna give them the opportunity to to ante up kick in and get stacked up against everybody else uh, in a really legit fashion. So I'm, I think this is fantastic. I can't wait. Larry, thanks so much for joining us. Please stay safe out there, and we'll see you during the regionals and out in Carson for the 2016 Reebok CrossFit Games. Absolutely, my friend. I look forward to seeing you guys. Y'all be good. Corporal Larry Moss, the assistant SWAT commander with the Lake Charles Police Department. New feature this year in the open. If you're a law enforcement officer, a firefighter, or in the military, you're going to be able to compare yourself to your peers. And like Larry said, you got to sign up to be able to talk trash. Registration's open. Head to games.crossit.com to get yourself into the mix.